So because I'm going to talk about fitness empowerment, so how about starting the session with little activity? I want you bo all to have both your hands in a butterfly format and then repeat it with me. Yeah? And when I say something with like a childlike innocence, you actually show that childlike innocence by remembering like, you know, four or five years or the, you know, the picture you'll have seen of yours, the youngest. Okay? So let's just start with this. Cross, like this. Very good. Very good. Yay! Oh, again. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Yay! That's like it. A little more. Very good. Very good. Yay! Oh, wow. I'm super proud. That's exactly what I wanted. OK. So now let's start with a little introspection. How do you think your identity is defined? Let me cover it in three steps. Like, you know, in my experience, all the people I have met in my life, three set of people I can explain is the first set who believe that their identity is actually defined by their career choice. Yes, like their professional life is their uh, true identity. The second set who felt the same about their education and the third and the largest set of people are the ones who actually thought that it's their birth, caste, and the family background which actually defined them as like, you know, their true identity. But to my surprise, you know, I realized what identity truly meant, what exactly it is to be achieved, what exactly it is to feel that moment that yes, I have arrived. Let me explain it with an example. I come from a very small town, Kethil. It's in Haryana. Basic education, uh, basic family background, middle class, and I thought, yeah, this is what I am, and you know, this family is where I belong. But my father had a different plan in mind. He always had a very unconventional uh, way of bringing us up. Like we are, uh, we are three of us. So I have two siblings. And uh, he got me to Delhi University to explore it. We moved around, and I immediately fell in love with the vibes here. And then I slogged really hard, uh, got pretty good uh, percentage in my 12th. And uh, though I could have easily got into St. Stephen's, but yes, as the orthodox uh, you know, background had it, I was in Indraprasth College of Women, and I started with my economic honors. But believe me, there also, I had not even a single, uh, you know, moment when I didn't feel like, wow, really? I have reached here and I was super proud because even that was making a lot of action back home. A lot of girls in my town started feeling that they can step out to DU and they can start their studies out. And slowly, it, you know, it came to very high level also. But yeah, I was feeling proud and somewhere I felt, yes. This education, where I, what, the kind of uh, institute I am from, the kind of interactions I am having, and this education is giving me so much, like, you know, I have, you know, received and achieved my true identity. But wait, slowly moving ahead after, you know, completing my eco honors, I got really inspired by amazing, uh, you know, lectures in my DU. And, uh, one of my lecture, she, lecturer, she, you know, kind of pushed me that, Meenal, this is not it. You should pursue further. So I prepared for MBA. I got into finance, MBA, cleared it with distinction. And, you know, from the place I come, this, this kind of, you know, completed your education. So, you know, there I felt, yeah, this is, this is it. <laughs> yeah, maybe this is where I wanted always, I always wanted to be and I, where I had to be. Economic honors, MBA, and super, and by this time, you know, girls in my place get married, and so I was also thinking like, wow, this is where I have, you know, kind of reached. But again, I think destiny had it. I got inspired by my placement officer, sir, and he kept on pushing me that, mean, no, another step. And that another step was actually taking up a job, becoming financially independent, and yes, again, worked hard. Landed up a beautiful, amazing profile of corporate banking with IDBI. And now imagine, pretty young, 
huge uh, package, uh, amazing uh, banking culture, and there I felt, yes, now I have arrived. This is I always wanted, and I think, um, you know, I'm fulfilled. I'm fulfilled from uh, inside, and uh, this is my identity. Imagine now, I have experienced all those three stages. I have been through the first stage, which is where we think that our family, or, you know, by birth, we have our identity. Then the second stage, where I actually thought that my education and all the value system I have, you know, uh, got from my uh, education is what my identity is. And the third, my job profile, my professional profile, that's what giving me identity. But did it? There was something else also in store, so, you know, just as a career progression, I moved on to AVP in Avian AMRO. There, again, I think I've been blessed to find amazing people throughout my life who kept on inspiring me, who kept on breaking those ceilings, breaking those barriers, where I thought like, oh, this status quo is heaven. This is where I had to, you know, be. But every time somebody or the other, whether it was some situation or it was inspiration from someone that I kept on challenging. I kept on challenging that status quo and I kept on breaking. I kept on breaking all those shackles and the, uh, you know, foundations which are created by the society, those predetermined roles which have been created by the society. So one of the role which were, I was given from my bosses, because I guess nobody else was uh, ready to take that up, was a small stint in the city of Varanasi. And uh, it was all about microfinance, the initiative of, uh, you know, that uh, MNC, our MNCs then. And you know what? When I got, uh, got to those ground level and I was working with, uh, you know, people with, you know, bare hands to their mouth, that I realized that, you know, you are truly fulfilled you are truly, uh, you know, you, are, you can say that you have truly fulfilled your life ambition when you are creating that impact, when you are touching the lives of people by creating that impact. I think touching down the roots there in Varanasi made me realize this. And from there, I think there was no turning back. I started thinking that what can I do in my life through which I can create that impact, through which I can touch base with the people and, you know, through a lot of introspection and definitely my family support and I would like to name my mother-in-law here because she has been my rock solid support behind me and yeah, through, you know, with that support, I decided to again break that barrier and Tell, I should tell you that it wasn't easy, yeah? Leaving a high-paying job, which was almost, uh, you know, taking me to places and having a great time, I still took that decision. I decided I have to let go of this job if I have to be truly, if I have to truly accomplish what I want to do. Like I already mentioned that you are, uh, you know, if you have to achieve something, that self-actualization actually happens when you are touching the very base, when you are being true to yourselves, being true to your passion. And now what was exactly my passion? So I've been always pretty energetic and uh, I used to get this complimented always from whether it was in my college or my, you know, uh, uh, colleagues around that how can somebody stay so smiling and so happy first thing in the morning till the last day because I kept on working till the last day in my both pregnancies plus it took me, you know, few months to get back in shape though I didn't do something very drastic. Yeah, so this was the very base where I started my corporate wellness business, okay? So just by these few cues which life has thrown at me, I realized that I have to do something in the field of fitness. And you know, fitness and wellness is not about creating some draconian plan around you. Leaving this, leaving that, eating this, eating that. It's actually energy. It's actually being in that energy business, okay? And you know, what is your currency in this whole universe? What is your real currency in this whole universe? It is the energy you carry. 
It is that feel, that vibe you carry when you enjoy, you know, when you're enjoying your life, when you move around those places, and that's how you touch people, and that's how you touch lives. Okay, but. As amazing it sounds, it wasn't all that easy. You know, this path is filled up with plethora of impediments, <laughs> if I have to explain it right. But yeah, I'll not deep dive into all that. But yeah, there were days when I was broke. And there were days, you know, where I would think that really was it the right decision? Was it good enough to let go of, you know, something you know, which was so easily, you know, which I, which I could have enjoyed throughout my life, that easy life and that happy life, was it really right? But I think you have to believe, you have to believe in what you get, you know, what you start, and you have to trust the divine process, and you have to trust the divine energy behind you. And yes, I kept on going, and with a lot of grit and determination, I could achieve that. You know, and yes, I would like to name <laughs> my husband also here. There was something which kept me going because I could see him trusting in me and telling me, yeah, it's happening. He could see it happening while I couldn't see it happening. Yeah. So <laughs> I think that positivity aura you have to carry. You have to carry that uh, aura of positive people around you who can see it happening for you before you see it happening for yourself. Because you are in that process, so you can't really see it from outside. Yeah, so I kept on going and yes, I created my corporate wellness business, but very soon came COVID. The wave of COVID and yes, it was all derailed because it was pretty much physical, but there lies the catch. Adversity is something which brings in so much opportunities, and that's where my opportunity came. Online platform now was accepted. It was accepted everywhere. People were accepting online platform as a methodology of training. Through this, we could reach out to so many people. We could make so many contacts. I could touch the lives the way I wanted to touch. And I think this moment, I felt I have arrived again. So am I right in thinking that, yes, this is my true identity. Like, this is my true passion. Fortunately or unfortunately, I felt that. But wait. Not so early, because I still think that going like this, where I, I feel that I have already touched more than 50,000 50, people where I have trained. I've trained them personally, OK? Not just through uh, me. Through my team, it, the number might be huge, because we handle uh, corporate wellness pan India. Again. Over a lakh, I would have touched personally through just the corporate wellness platform, like, you know, the companies where I'm directly taking the sessions, not just directly to the people, but trainer of trainers also. And through my social media presence, I have a followers, uh, you know, where I have touched life by over two lakh people, plus creating impressions over 50 million. So, you know, I could easily say here again, that this is my identity. I have, again, you know, achieved what I was set to. But no, please don't. Don't let the society, don't let the situations around you mold you into those predetermined, you know, molds and tell you, yes, this is it. You are there. These transitional shifts, these transitional shifts will happen in your life when you will have that, you know, when you'll have that uh, thing in you which only you'll know, that fire in you which will drive you, which will ask you to break, to break those ceilings, which will ask you to question the status quo, which will ask you to push through all those boundaries and tell to yourself, yes, maybe today I have arrived, but this is not where I want to be forever. I'm going to go beyond and above all that I can see today to achieve far more in future to what I want to see ahead and achieve in my life. So please make sure that this whole idea of unbinding para uh, paradigm is about creating, 
creating a future, not just that future for us, but creating a future for our society, for our country, and for our world as a whole, where we are not trying to you know, put people in perspectives, put people in situations where we are judging them, rather understanding, empathy, communication, understanding their own perspectives, giving them that creative freedom to be. And you know, when we start doing it from ourselves, we let it happen as a whole. So we, we, you know, we hear about so many researches where they talk about that there's not enough creativity happening. There's not enough creative ideas coming from us. Why not? Let's start this movement. Let's start this movement from today where we personally decide that we are no more following any of those patterns which are already set. We are ready to break free. A place from where we are not looking back, but from a place where we are gonna govern ourselves from our inner, from our inner fire. From a place where we are happy being what we are trying to do, what we are trying to achieve. And this is not gonna be governed by any societal pressures. This is not gonna be governed by any other person. This is gonna be governed by us and only us, and from this approach, we can truly change the world around us where we can actually look forward to so many more aspects of career growth, so many more aspects of professionalism, which have not been seen till now, yeah? So we can say clearly to ourselves that whichever level you have all achieved today, whether it is your career level, whether it's your educational level, you are gonna break. You're gonna break those bounds. You're gonna push through that and keep, keep striving to achieve better and a better world tomorrow. And yes, because I've been talking about the fitness, uh, you know, so I would want to end the session also with one small movement. If you all can just stand up with me. So I want you to do side, side, and two claps here, so let go. Side, side, and center. Okay, go. Yan, side, and center. A little more energy, guys. Side, side, and center, center. Side, side, center, center. Move your feet also. Together, move it. And that's it. Side, side, and center, center, easy. Great, that's what movement does to you, that's what moving away from your playstations or whether your workstations does to you. So yes, keep enjoying your life. Have a great day and a rocking year ahead. Thank you, thank you so much.